welcome to the craft. Today we are making felt dice throw pillow. You can use this uh, for any game you want to play, especially the sexy ones. And uh, it's very easy to make. And the person that's going to be my crafting sidekick today is none other than Will Wheaton of Tabletop Geek and Sundry. Oh, Hug. Hi. So this is a simple craft. <clears throat> All right. And there is sewing, but I will tell you it's super easy. Okay. And um, there's no glitter this time. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really glad to know that. I'm not as intimidated by the prospect of sewing as I am walking out of here covered in glitter. I don't know if it reads on camera, but you, you look like a sparkly. I know, I can't commit a crime now. If I yeah, murdered yeah. you, not that I would, that's a different show, but if I murdered yeah. you, they'd find me yeah. because I'd li leave a glitter trail. Okay, so we have a die <laughs> as like an example. Okay. We have some felt, so I'm gonna do a quick bang. Excellent. First thing you do is you cut felt into a square like this. You're gonna do six of these because it's a six-sided die. Though, if you want to be adventurous and do, is it a hexagon for uh, dodecahedron? Do dodecahedron. Yeah. So if you do a dodecahedron shape, you can do that. But we're not gonna do that today because it's not a 12-hour craft ship. So you sew all the ends together. Uh -huh. Simple stitch. Like over, you don't even have to do anything fancy. Fit kind of the top on there. It's it's simple. Through the magic of crafting, yeah. I already did it. Different color just to mess with you. Yeah. So then you stitch the edges, like so. So see, it's already like a box, but you keep a little opening. So anyway, you stuff this uh -huh. with felt, which we have here. Stuff All right. it, Will. Okay. Stuff you it good. You stuff it. You stuff it good. You, your face is stuffed stuff it. it. So and the cool thing, while he's doing that, let's pretend you do a bunch of circles. Oh, there's 21. glitter all over this. Bonnie says glitter is the herpes of the craft world. Once glitter gets on you, it never goes away. Shh. No, I know. Get away from the glitter. Just keep, just it's, pretend. No, it's too late. Just pretend, it's too late. It, just pretend it's crabs. We already threaded a needle. See, look at this. Through there, you get it all through the different layers of felt. And this doesn't have to be perfect because you're using the same color uh -huh. of thread as your felt. So even if you're bad at stitching, it doesn't matter. And see, I'm not even doing a good job. It's because you're making me nervous, Well, All this sewing sexual tension between us. <laughs> Now this is a good thing for you to remember in case you get shot and you do have to stitch yourself yeah, yeah. up. And you want to use, you don't want to use blue thread. So then to tie a knot, you just do one, one underneath and then you go through it with the needle, go through the loop. You do it a couple times. Do this. Done. So we're going to do the four dots. I think that'll be, no, let's do three. Okay. Three's diagonal. All right. And you're literally just going to place it there. Can I eyeball and, it? And glue them? Glue it. All right. Yeah, it's fresh. And you just, you know, squeeze with, it, it should come out easily, easy, yeah, that's a lot, that's a lot of glue. That's a lot of glue. Actually, I use too much glue. No, 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 sometimes that's it's way hard too much to, glue. oh, now you oh. saw it, oh, that's okay. Oh, I thought we needed way more no. glue than that. Done. So as an added thing, yeah, yeah. if you really, because we can't do glitter. Bonnie is staying at my house while she's filming this episode, and I know that in three months, I'm going to go into my guest room, and there's going to be glitter in it. I'm okay with that, but we can do googly eyes. Yeah, yeah. Because I like to put googly eyes on everything. Yeah. I always have pre googly eyes ready to go. <laughs> so I would put one in each dot. I said yeah, go yeah. for it. And your wife, Ann Wheaton, does vandalize. We both do vandalize, vandal eyes, get it? On uh, Twitter, where we put googly eyes on everything. Everything. Emergency no, signs. You don't, I don't think you understand what you did to her. When we go places, she carries a little tin of emergency googly eyes in her purse and is always on the lookout for something that needs to be uh, sort of livened up. Everywhere we go, she puts those damn googly eyes on everything. Well, the problem is... Bonnie really stayed at our house um, like a few months ago, yeah. and when Bonnie left, um, everything in my house had become anthropomorphized. Uh, every light switch yep. uh, was looking back at me uh, when I tried to touch it. My coffee maker had eyeballs on it. Uh, my computer. The toilet was my favorite. Yeah, that was... Well, I, I because the like... toilet was just for me. Yeah, it Because was. I'm the only one who lives in the house that would actually lifts up the seat right, that direction. Right. I'd like to say that I'm going to take my newly found crafting skills home with me and make a complete set of polyhedral gaming dice pillows. The truth is, um, I'm still really afraid of stabbing myself with needles, so what I am instead going to do is say, hey internet, you know what I would love? If someone made me a complete set of polyhedral gaming dice pillows using the knowledge you just got from me and Bonnie on the show. Okay, well thank you so much for doing the craft with me, Yay. hugs. 
Thank you, Will. Be sure to check out Will on Tabletop on Geek & Sundry. Subscribe to this, please, and leave comments. Thank you. Appreciate it.